Greetings folks, this video is all about crow breaking. Crow breaking is, or it's often called butterfly as well, I get asked about this quite often, how to program it up and what it is. So it's a mix that you would use on a, a, an efficient glider that has difficulty getting down in a, in a small space. Uh, it's also something I use on slope sawers that have flaps as well as ailerons uh, and the idea is to slow the glider down and kill the lift so that you can bring it down in a restricted space. Gliders like this with really big wingspans, this is a 2.6 metre wing, wingspan ASW wing on a Phoenix body, this is a, a pure slope sawer. They glide so efficiently that when they get into the ground effect or you know within a metre or so of the ground they just keep gliding along and along and they can scoot along for another like 20-50 metres further than you, you thought it was going to be. On a slope that's uh, way too much space, you really need to be able to bring it down in a tight area. So what the mix is basically, we have flaps working as normal, uh, but we want the flaps to go down a long way so that we're providing lots of drag. Not so much extra lift, but lots of drag. So flaps are going down and at the same time the ailerons are going up. And the ailerons going up produces reflex in the outer portion of the wing. That kills the lift. So we're getting drag from the flaps and we're getting less lift because we've, got, we've introduced some reflex or up, up aileron or up flapper on into the wing. So that's crow or butterfly breaking. It's just a mixture of flaps going down, ailerons going up. Now we don't want the ailerons to go up so far that we lose movement. You still need a little bit of up and down movement so you have control over the uh, glider when you're in that braking situation, but you want the flaps to go down as far as possible. The way I like to set it up is to have it on the slider here, and what I've actually done is I have flaps going down to the halfway mark, and then crow or ailerons going up, from halfway down to all the way down. And the reason I do that is it means that I don't have to offset the ailerons. If I didn't have that set up, I would have to introduce some offset into the ailerons so that the ailerons weren't going down when the slider is in the up position. So my slider is going from plus 100 down to zero. No movement of the ailerons, but I still have full movement. And then from zero to minus 100, we've just got a little bit of reflex kicking into the ailerons. Depending on your model you may have to introduce a little bit of elevator compensation as well uh, and it varies from model to model. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So this one when I found when I was uh, deploying full crow braking the nose would kick up a little bit so I need to introduce a little bit of uh, down elevator to uh, keep the glider level. Programming it up. In the mixer page we have ailerons on channel 1 and channel 2. It's a glider so I haven't got a throttle at all. Elevator, channel 4, rudder channel 5. My flaps are on the left slider on channel 6 and channel 7. You might notice I have a little bit of camber on the SB switch. 4% and 8% on the ailerons, two positions of the SB switch. And same on the flaps as well. So that's for when the lift drops off I can kick in a little bit of extra curvature into the wing by dropping the flaps and the ailerons, all of them, down just a little bit using the SB switch. But that's not what we're here to talk about. My flaps are on the left slider and I've also got the ailerons on the left slider as well, but just 60% of it. You just play with the values and the direction, plus or minus, so that you're getting the ailerons going up and the flaps going down. And you can see I've got the function x is less than zero, and that only operates the ailerons once I've moved the slider past the center position. And also I've got the elevator on the left slider as well. This is the elevator compensation for to stop the nose from ballooning up. And I found that minus 11 is the correct amount to keep the glider level when I've got deployed full crow braking. And I tend to sort of operate it on and off as I'm coming into land, as I need it, slow it down. I can get rid of it if I have to go around again, but I can just sort of keep putting the crow braking on and off, and I still have control over the uh, ailerons as well. So there you go, that's crow braking. 